Hey guys, welcome back to the StudyTube Project channel. I'm Tom, and I've just finished second year chemistry at the University of Warwick. Today's video, I've decided to go through something that I think is really interesting. Why do things have colour? Let's first look at the structure of an atom. The atomic structure contains a nucleus of protons and neutrons, surrounded by electrons in energy levels or shells. These energy levels are discrete, or fixed. This means the electrons can't exist in between energy levels. This is the same with compounds where the energy of the molecular orbitals are also fixed. These atoms or molecules want to be as low in energy as possible. So these electrons arrange themselves in the lowest possible state, the ground state. White light is made up of all of the colours in the visible spectrum. If we shine white light on the atom, a specific wavelength of light can be absorbed by an electron, raising it to an excited state. Since these energy levels are fixed, only a specific wavelength of light is absorbed. The electron can't be in between. In this example, red light is absorbed. The other wavelengths are reflected into our eyes, and we see the complementary colour to the colour that was absorbed. In this case, looking at the colour wheel, we see green. Different atoms have different energy levels, so the gap between the ground state and the excited state is different. This leads to different wavelengths of light being absorbed, giving us a whole spectrum of different colours for different elements. For example, let's take an apple. If we shine white light on it, green light gets absorbed, reflecting the red colour that we see. When the electron is in the excited state, it wants to relax back down. It does this through rotations and vibrations of the atom or molecule. It can also emit light back out called phosphorescence, but let's not dwell into this too much, as the absorption bit is where we get our colour. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've all learnt something new. For those of you who are doing, or are going to do, A-level chemistry, I'll be uploading lots of short animations to help with your studies. So yeah, go check them out in the description. Thanks.